Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to transfer all of your data uh, from your old Mac to your new Mac. I'm not just talking about your photos, uh, music and apps, but also things like your settings, uh, even your wallpaper uh, and bookmarks. We're essentially gonna be creating a mirror of the old Mac and then transfer that over to the new Mac. Now, this video will apply to any Mac, whether you're going from a uh, MacBook Air to a MacBook Pro or even an iMac or Mac Mini. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna be going from my M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro to my new M2 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. And in this video, I'll be showing you the best way to do this, uh, as well as showing you how to transfer all of your data, but also select specific parts of your data uh, if you choose not to carry everything over. As always guys, I will leave the purchase links down in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, before we get started, uh, there's a few things you're gonna want to do beforehand. Uh, and first is, of course, open up your new Mac. Now, as you can see, I've just unboxed this M2 Pro, uh, and here I am right on the setup screen, uh, ready to get started. Now, the second thing you're gonna want to do is plug both of your Macs into power. Uh, you can see I have the MagSafe charger connected to both. Uh, even if you have full battery, this is a really important process and can take quite a while, depending on how many files you're carrying over. Uh, and the last thing you'd want is one of your Macs to, uh, to run out of power midway through and then for the process not to complete successfully. And then the third uh, and final thing you're going to want to do before we get started, uh, and that is to make sure that you connect both of your Macs to the same Wi-Fi network, as it will be using Wi-Fi to transfer the data uh, from one Mac to the other, so make sure you connect to the same network. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, so on the new Mac, I'm just going to start up the uh, process here for the setup. So it's going to select the region, uh, and then here I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. So once again, you're going to want to scroll uh, and find the exact same network that you're old Mac is on. And here we go. This will bring us to the migration assistant page. And this is where we can get started. So here we have two options either to transfer from a Mac time machine backup or a different startup disk, uh, as well as transferring from a Windows. Now, for those that want to start off uh, fresh and have no files on their Mac, you can also press the not now uh, option down here. However, if you're watching this video, chances are you're going to want to uh, transfer the files from your old Mac. So in that case, we're going to transfer or uh, choose the first option and then we will select continue. Now from here, uh, it's gonna actually look on the network and try to find my old uh, Mac here. And at this stage, you're gonna want to go over to your old Mac. And then what we're gonna do is click on the finder, which you'll find in the bottom left side of the dock here, and then click on your applications folder and then scroll down to where we get to utilities. And then we're gonna scroll down to where we find the migration assistant. This is the icon here. You sort of get two finder logos uh, and you're gonna want to launch this application on your old Mac by double clicking it. Go ahead and select continue and then you have to type in your computer password. And as you can see, that's then gonna close all of your applications uh, and essentially log you out of your old Mac. All right, so the two screens uh, are looking very similar. Uh, this is a good sign. Uh, now looking back at the old Mac here, we now have to choose whether we want to uh, transfer information from an old Mac to a new one or what we want to do. So in this case, the old Mac, the one on the left, will of course be the source. And this is what we're doing. So what we're gonna do is actually select the final option uh, and that is to another Mac. So we're gonna transfer the information from this Mac to the new Mac. So we'll select the bottom option here and then select continue. And here we go. As you can see on the new MacBook Pro, we now get Dion's MacBook Pro. What we can do is then click on it and then we're gonna make sure to select continue. There we go. And at this stage, you wanna confirm that the codes on two screens are identical. Uh, this will of course ensure that you uh, copy the correct files from the correct computer. In this case, the codes match. So we will go ahead and select continue here on the old Mac. Now at this stage, uh, it's gonna sort of collate all of the files on your old computer. Now, depending on how many uh, files you have, this may take a little while. Uh, you can see they're starting to appear here on the new Mac, in which case we will be able to actually manually select uh, specifically which files we do or don't want to carry over. Now as standard, uh, it's gonna have everything selected. So you can see from your applications to your home folder, uh, this here is the second option or the second folder, which will contain your name. Uh, and in that you're gonna find all of your documents, uh, basically everything that that is associated with that user account. So again, even things like your bookmarks, your settings, everything. And you'll see that's also the biggest portion here. Uh, so calculating all this out may take a little while. You could choose to wait for this. Uh, I would only do this, however, if you want to manually select or deselect uh, files, but if you want to carry everything over, uh, we can move straight on and press continue. Now, just before I press continue, uh, one important thing to consider is the storage space. As if you are going from a, uh, say hypothetically, from a uh, one terabyte MacBook to a 500 gigabyte MacBook, uh, you of course won't be able to transfer everything over, in which case 
you do want to keep that in mind uh, and then manually select which things you want to leave off uh, to save some storage space. Now in this case, I'm going from a one terabyte Mac uh, with I would say around 700 gigabytes used uh, to a two terabyte Mac. So in this case, that will be fine. So what we're gonna do is have everything selected and then we will press continue. At this stage, uh, we're gonna be asked to create a new password. Now, this will be the login password uh, that you'll use on your new Mac. Now, this can be the same as on your old one as you're carrying the same account over, uh, but you do have an opportunity to change it here. There we go. We will select set password. We then have the little green check mark, and then we're gonna select continue. Uh, then we have the terms and conditions, which of course we all read very carefully, uh, and then we will select continue. Now, as you can see, it is now officially gonna start the process of transferring all of the files from the old MacBook to the new Mac. MacBook. Uh, now, there's many factors that come into play in terms of how long this will take. Uh, of course, you have the amount of data that's being transferred, uh, as well as your Wi-Fi speed. Now, in this case here, you actually can click on the connection details, and this will give you uh, an, an uh, estimate for how fast the transfer is. So you can see we're currently at 29 megabits per second, uh, which is not bad, but is going to take quite a while. So to speed this up, if you have a uh, USB-C cable, now here I have a Thunderbolt USB-C cable from my studio display, what we can actually do is plug this into both Macs and that will give us a hardwire connection uh, which will be much faster. And there we go, so I've just hooked up the Thunderbolt cable, as you can see, uh, plugged it into my old Mac and then into my new Mac. And then if we look at the uh, screen on the new Mac here, you will see that where previously it was uh, using Wi-Fi, using the uh, Wi-Fi speed, we got around 26 megabytes, whereas now it's gonna be using the Thunderbolt connection. And as you can see, this will give us 1500 megabytes per second. Uh, this is quite literally, uh, what is that, like 20, 20 times, uh, faster, so significantly faster uh, than doing it over the Wi-Fi. So if you have one of these cables, I do recommend it. Uh, and you can see that here under the current connection, it will automatically update here to Thunderbolt. Now at this point, uh, we play the waiting game and let's see how long this will take. All right, guys, welcome back. We are now 32 minutes and 17 seconds later, and the migration has officially completed. Uh, now, to give you an idea of how long this took, uh, I had 300,000 files to transfer from my old Mac to my new Mac, uh, and the time estimate started at around 18 hours, so I was quite surprised to see that, uh, but then very quickly went down. Uh, and as you can see, in reality, it took just about 30 minutes, uh, which is very fast, uh, and I think it's largely thanks to the fact that I did use the uh, Thunderbolt USB-C cable, so I definitely recommend doing this if you have one. This will be much quicker than doing it over Wi-Fi. So we can go ahead and move on to our new Mac here. We'll go ahead and press done here. And there we go. So this uh, should now show the same login picture that you will have had on your old Mac. I'm gonna quickly type in my password and log in. And here we go. It's going to ask for my Apple ID password. I'm gonna quickly type that in as well. And there we go. So it is now uh, setting up the iCloud. So while it does this uh, over on the old Mac, we'll just go ahead and click on done here. And there we go. So at this stage, uh, the old Mac will have rebooted itself uh, and you can log back in as you normally would. Now, all of your files will still be there on your old Mac, so nothing will have changed there. Uh, so if you do still wanna use it, you absolutely can. Of course, if you do plan to sell or pass on your old MacBook Pro or your uh, old Mac, make sure you do remove all of those files and log out of your iCloud uh, before doing so. Now, going back over to the new Mac, uh, we have a few more setup steps to go through here. Uh, first, we have uh, FireVault disk encryption. Both of these are things that I highly recommend you turn on. Uh, in short, what this really is, is it's just an additional layer of protection for your files, uh, not only protecting them uh, with a general password behind your account, but then also encrypting the individual files, uh, meaning they cannot be accessed or read. Now, uh, with newer MacBook Pros, you will have Touch ID, which is of course a great way to quickly log into your Mac or authenticate payments. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set this up. Now, you may be wondering, why did Touch ID not copy from my old Mac, as this too has a Touch ID sensor? Uh, but your Touch ID fingerprint is one of the few things that is actually not stored in the solid state drive on your Mac. It is actually stored in a separate chip and this is done for security reasons. Uh, so for that reason, your data or your uh, fingerprint cannot be carried over or found anywhere in the Mac and uh, it thus has to be redone on the new Mac. So what we're gonna do here, take the right index finger and then gradually uh, drop and place the finger to fill the graph here. And we're gonna gradually move the finger a little bit get the edges and there we go touch ID is ready go ahead and press continue here uh, we also have the option to add Apple Pay I'm gonna do this later but Apple Pay again very useful just makes uh, buying things dangerously uh, easy shall we say 
All right, guys, here we go. Uh, the mission is now complete. All of the files have officially been transferred over from the old Mac to the new Mac. Now, I've also uh, logged into my old Mac here just to show you that uh, we essentially have two identical Macs here. You can see we got the same uh, number of files on the desktop. We have the same arrangements of icons in the dock. Uh, even the wallpaper is carried over. And you can see uh, if I launch Safari here, I should. As you can see, I have all of my recent tabs even open. So uh, as I said at the start of this video, everything is going to be carried over from your old Mac right to your new one. Uh, of course, the only difference is that this, of course, is the newer model. And you can see here that for the available storage, uh, I have 1.2 terabytes of the two terabytes available, whereas on my old Mac, I had only 182 gigabytes available. So anyway, guys, uh, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, if you just got your new Mac or are planning to upgrade soon, save this video for the future. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, please leave them down below and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, as well as lots more content coming on the new M2 MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching, guys, and I wish you all a fantastic day. Take care.